to talk real quick about this case, and I'm going to have to pull up my notes to make sure that I have everything up here. So I'll be doing that quite a bit, okay? Um, I want to talk about this Courtney Clinney situation. So a lot of you guys that may not know, she actually murdered her boyfriend. She unalived this man sometime back. A lot of people didn't really care because they felt like um, he was with his preference, and he ended up getting clapped by his preference so it sounds like it's a personal problem i'm just telling y'all what the people said and you know it ain't funny but it's, it, it was a little chuckle the way the people could care less all right um so they're saying that this only fans model which is what they're calling her miss courtney clinney sued by the family of her slain north texas a boyfriend for funeral expenses and i feel like they should sue her for emotional distress now granted i may not have liked his preference or not well really I could care less about your preference for real for I really don't give it to be honest with you just just me but it's more so I don't like when guys choose a preference and then try to down talk the very women that they came from that's a problem for me I have to be honest there you know um and that's where a lot of other people were coming from they were really upset about that like he said a lot of negative things or whatever when it came to black women so it's like oh well you know you got clapped by your preference and you know we're, we're gonna go on about our day anybody wants sushi is um you know how they pretty much went about it but then at the same time I was conflicted because I felt them on that but then I also felt like I didn't want this young lady to get away with a crime that she committed at the end of the day I, I just no, it's not fair. So, period, you know, regardless of, of what he said, what he did, whatever, um, that don't mean she get to just la, 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 skip out the jail down the yellow brick road. Absolutely no, ma'am. Mm -mm, put her back. So, they're saying Miami social uh, media star Courtney Clinney has been sued for negligence for fatally stabbing boyfriend and Plano native Christian um, Abu Meseli. I'm not, I'm gonna say Christian O because I don't want to butcher that name. Um, she unalived him with a kitchen knife in their luxury apartment more than one year ago. The victim's father, Mr. Chio, filed the wrongful death suit against Clinney, the owners of the high-rise building where the altercation occurred and the exclusive properties, properties management and security companies. Baby, sue they. Yes, I know that's real, honey. Sue all of them. Now, it looks like they were saying in the headlines, and this is according to Fox News, that she they were suing her for the funeral expenses. And I'm kind of like, girl, emotional distress and whatever else we can add on there. Girl, you finna pay me. What? Excuse me? You like if you get off on some defense, uh, self-defense type BS or manslaughter or whatever the case is, you may get off on Miss Ma'am. Absolutely not. You're going to be paying us for the rest of your life, period. Every time you cash a check and get a check, you're going to think about what you did. All right. Now, they're saying that um, Chio, as the representative of Christian's estate, alleges that Clinton failed to maintain the subject premises in a safe and danger free manner when she uh, unalived her lover um, to, you know, pretty much, pop, you know, boom, boom, boom. To death April 3rd, 2022, during an altercation in their 22nd floor on the 22nd floor apartment. Now, the suit alleges that this young lady was negligent in that an atmosphere was created at subject building that facilitated the commissions of crimes against a person. All right. So they're saying that his estate is suing her for the cost of his medical care and funeral arrangements, loss of future income and his family's pain and suffering. OK, we I could. Yes. Add the pain and suffering in there, ma'am. Add it in there because a lot of the friends were coming out and they were saying that, listen, this ain't nothing new, really, because they will always, you know, fight. But primarily it would be because of her. They've seen her get aggressive with him over him getting aggressive with her. So her trying to play the victim role. These were her white buddies coming out saying absolutely not. And it was more than one of them. It was about four of them coming out talking about what they have witnessed when it comes to them. So, or yeah, to, to the both of them, okay? So there's that. Um, what else are they saying? They're saying that um, this young lady who goes by Courtney Taylor online has been locked up since her August arrest, as she should, on a single count of second degree unaliving, okay? Big M for the um, unaliving of her boyfriend, okay? So that's where they are. Her uh, attorneys have argued that she was the victim of DV and acted in self-defense when she plunged it into his chest. Girl, goodbye. I believe he had more than one womb womb on him. Okay? He had more than one womb womb while y'all sitting up there talking. But um, I don't know. I don't think that, you know, to me, based on, you know, what the friends were saying and stuff like that, 
I don't think that man did too much or nothing to her. I think she was acting erratic and things like that. And because she always comes off like that, she, you know. But we just going to see. We'll see how that plays out. But I am glad that his family is suing her, okay? Let's see. Are they putting out what the total cost is? In her statement to police immediately after the um, confrontation, the Texas-born beauty allegedly said, I really don't know if if this was justified at all what that's what she said she don't know if it was justified at all wow now the criminal charges brought her flourishing online business to a standstill this girl was bringing in 1.8 million dollars in 2021 she brought in 960 some thousand in 2022 and this is all according to her tax returns girl what was you over there doing these sums do not include her many other revenue streams, including Instagram, where she boasts 2 million followers and sponsor deals. Girl, I bet it did bring her um her revenue to a screeching halt because she's not able to produce content no more. But, um, yeah, sue her. Go ahead and sue all that money for they able to move it over into a trust or something like that and prevent y'all from getting a little coin. But either way, that's what's going on with her situation. She's now being sued. So, good luck.